Hey everyone, it's Craig with Aviar Real Estate and I am with John Hood from Dynamic Property. And we are here in front of Tarantula Hill. Today is Foodie Friday. Let's go check it out. here at Tarantula Hill Brewing Company. It's one of the new places that we have opened up here in Thousand Oaks. John, you been here yet? First time. First time here for John. I've been here a few times myself. Definitely enjoy it. So uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to do a, a little uh, Foodie Friday ratings review on three things. One, the, uh, the cost of the food. Two, the quality of the service. And three, the uh, quality of the food. So we're going to have lunch after we're done. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. But first, I wanted to talk to John a little bit. I've known John for a very long time. Uh, John has his contract once yeah, a couple <laughs> thousand days. Um, John is a contractor. Him and I have done work together. We've flipped homes together, and I've helped him out a lot of that. So I, I wanted to talk to you, John, a little bit about for people out there who might be thinking of selling their home and increasing property value. Obviously, one of the best ways to increase property value is through upgrades to the home, whether it be kitchen upgrades, bathroom remodels, that sort of thing. So um, I wanted to give a lot of advice, some advice from John. There's a lot of contractors available out there. I work with some great ones as well. John doesn't do public work. He kind of works on his own, but he's going to give us some advice. So for people that are out there kind of looking to get a contractor, what are the top three things that somebody should look for when they're thinking of hiring a new contract? What would you recommend? Well, number one, definitely you want to check their contractor's license on the state licensing board website. State licensing board website. Yes. Do you, do you happen to know what that website uh, is? CSLB.com. CSLB.com. Right. Or dot .gov. Okay. CSLB. You'll find contract, name of contractors, license, active, You can, active, you can search whatnot. by their license number. You can see if they're active, if they have any, uh, any legal things against their license, if they have issues that are still open. Okay. And that's the first thing that you always a, want to right. check on a contract. So make sure that they don't have any pending litigation or anything like Correct. that. It would be on there. Make sure they're licensed, of course. Uh, so that's number one. What would the second thing and be? Of course you want them to be licensed because if they're not and you have an issue, you have no recourse. Right. Uh, number two, you want to check their website, see what type of work they, they do. Of course, they're going to have beautiful pictures. Sure. And they're going to have great reviews. So the next thing you then want to do is see what third-party review sites will have on them. Such as like Yelp or Google? Yelp or Google. Okay. You always want to go to a third-party site okay. to check reviews there as not just on their website. Okay, good. Guys, I, I personally went through a remodel myself recently. Loved my contractor. Jim Galinsky did a great job. Um, so if you guys want some context, I can give it to you. But I have heard horror stories of people, Matthew and Sharon Hanley, who it's taken like nine months to get your home done sort of a thing. So. <laughs> Um, you don't want to do that. Make sure you vet the people that you're looking for. Make sure you take some advice and uh, check out the websites that are there. So, um, uh, thanks, John. I appreciate talking to me. We're going to sure. have lunch here in a Good few time. minutes. We're both uh, enjoying a, uh, a brew that was made here at Tarantula Hill. You're having the the uh, double IPA. The this double IPA. The, the second batch of their first double IPA. So their first uh, edition of their double, their second batch they've ever made. I am uh, I'm having their hazy. And so we're going to see how these are. We're going to have lunch, and then we'll give a review when we're done. Stay tuned. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, John and I just enjoyed a fantastic meal here at Tarantula Hill. Um, first time John's been here. Like I said, I've been here a couple times. So, but this was the first time I had this particular pizza. Uh, their menu right now consists of pizzas, uh, a couple different salads, uh, some wings, and ice cream, which are all fantastic. I had, I've had them all actually. So, today we got the wedge pizza. We split the, excuse me, the wedge salads. We each had a wedge salad, and we split the pizza. What was the pizza called? Uh, meet the meat. Meet the meat. Meet the meat pizza. So. We're gonna review it on three things, price, service, and the taste of the food, most importantly. So, as far as the price goes, like I said, we got the pizza, two salads, and a beer each. Uh, it was about $35 for everything involved. I personally think that's a fantastic price. Not only do you get the food that's great, but we have such a great environment out here sitting on their gigantic patio, watching kids play and enjoy the open air. So, I personally think that was a, a great price. it was a great price, it was on your tab. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was a great price for him. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I thought the price, I'd definitely give it a five star on the price. How about you? Five star. Five stars on the price. Yep. So as far as the service goes, I got to tell you, 
I was incredibly impressed with how quick the food came out. It was five minutes, maybe. They, uh, <laughs> they got a pizza maker in there that cooks uh, like 90 pizzas in 17 seconds or something like that. <laughs> it goes really, I mean, it really though, it's seriously insanely fast. Uh, the, the crust was perfect. Um, the salads were great. It was a really good sized wedge salad that we had. Yeah, great wedge salad. Yeah, so I was really happy with that. Um, I also uh, had the ice cream. We had some mint yep, chocolate mint chip. mint chocolate chip. Great thing about the ice cream is they actually make it here in house. John uh, is like the guru ice cream guy back there. Not me, John. No, not him. One of the owners. He's a guru ice cream eater, <laughs> as am oh, I. Yeah. Uh, but John <laughs> makes some fantastic ice cream. It's all done here in house, so I definitely, absolutely, give the food a big five stars for myself. How Definitely five stars on the food. For sure. Um, and, and I think we skipped over the service real quick, but it came out fast. Um, and, and I would give definitely get five stars on the service as well. There's uh, numerous people at the bar that are there willing to be able to kind of help you find what might be the right beer for you. And if you don't like beer, they also have wine as well. So you can come by and have that also. So, and I think they serve coffee. Not yet. Not yet, coffee's coming, sorry. So coffee will be here soon. So. Anyway, guys, uh, if you haven't checked it out again, come check out Tarantula Hill Brewing here in Thousand Oaks. Definitely something that we have needed. I enjoyed it. John, how about the beer? <laughs> the beer. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. <laughs> we kind of enjoyed the that beer too. The beer is fantastic. <laughs> uh, John, oh, I, and this is important. John is having, what are you having, John? I am having their second batch of their first double IPA. So it's a double which, IPA, their second batch they've ever brewed. Let me backtrack here a little bit. To say that I hate IPA is an understatement. An I have IPA never, guy. ever, ever drank an IPA that I like. And I've, I, I have to say this is the best IPA I have ever tasted. It, it honestly, as someone who really likes IPAs, but prefers the singles more than the doubles, I had this one earlier, it's amazingly fantastic, incredibly smooth, and if you like IPAs, you should definitely come get their batch two, their double IPA. So um, come check it out. Come visit uh, Tarantula Hill. Support Ali, Mike, and, uh, and uh, Kenny, and a bunch of the other brewery uh, guys, John. the owners that we have out here. John. John. The ice cream John. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that, that guy. guy. Uh, come support the place. Come support them. Great owners. <laughs> great place for our community, and we loved it. So come check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week on Foodie Friday. Take care.